Good morning, friends. It's Teresa from Star Stylist Homestead. Well, today's the day. My sister-in-law comes Tuesday, so I have to make my whoopie pies for her so that we don't have to do this while she's here. <clears throat> she's going to be here for 10 days, so um, I'm going to make, right now, my Swiss buttercream. So I have everything ready. My double broiler is going. I'm going to bring you down and show you what I'm doing. Okay, I have six egg whites. I'm using the extra, the three, uh, four I used last night, and I added two more in here. So I have my water going. I'm going to add these egg whites in there with one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And we're going to stir and stir and stir this until it's well combined. Sugar's not gritty, and we want it at 160 degrees. If you don't stir, you'll cook those. So you have to continuously stir. And here's another first. It's the first time I'm using this pan, so I'm hoping it works as well as I think it's going to. It's an old-time double broiler. I got it at uh, when I went home last year to Connecticut. They have this little consignment shop. I just browsing through there with my sister-in-law, and I'm like, oh, my God, a double broiler, because I always used my pan with a bowl, and it was a pain because the bowl always moved. Not now. So I'll show you. Right now, this is the, what it looks like. And you don't want to boil that water. You just So I have it on pretty low. But you just keep stirring and stirring. And once I do this, we're going to put this in our uh, mixer. Um, this is amazing. And this recipe freezes very well. I usually make a double recipe. I didn't feel like doing a double recipe today. Uh, first off, most of my butter was... Um, frozen. I had picked up another one the other day and I'm like, oh, thank God I did. Um, let me give you my head anyway, <laughs> seeing that you can't see what's in this pan. So yeah, I was able to do this. And after this, I'm going to make the whoopie pies. But I think what I'm going to do is two separate videos. So if somebody wants the buttercream alone, they can watch this one. This is the, this is literally the worst part. Of doing this. My muscles are already hurting. Matter of fact, I'll just turn that up just a little bit more. Um, yeah, and what I do, oh yeah, that's still cold. I touch it because the sugar won't be gritty anymore. Somebody's calling me. There we go. So that's what you're looking for. That and 160 degrees. <laughs> and another FYI, when you're using your blender when, and you're making this, be 100% sure. Wash it three times if you have to. You do not want anything in that blender that's going to prevent these from fluffing up. Um, so make sure your bowl is really clean. on any on any um, frosting or if you're using um, heavy whipping cream or just egg whites and you're blending them in there you don't want any um, kind of grease in there sorry I had that sugar and egg on my fingers I just grab my thermometer and I don't have to keep sticking my fingers in there. This usually doesn't take that long anyway. We're tempering these. And the reason you want to do this is because, like with whippy pies, I can leave them out for a couple days, even with all these eggs. 
because I'm tempering my egg whites. If you didn't do this, you wouldn't be able to leave them out. They'd just go bad. And this is what, on one of my other videos, I was telling you that um, oh, it's getting up there quick. Um, I was telling you something about it on one of my other videos. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. I hate when that happens. So, this is five minutes. Oh, I know what I was going to say. One of my other videos I had showed you that I took two um, ice packs out and wrapped it around the bottom of my bowl to cool it down so that it worked faster. This is what I do that with. And it works wonderful. Let me see. I think that's about right. Yeah, oh, that's 106. I just want to, yep, it's 106 degrees, so I'm going to shut that off, okay? I'm going to bring you over to my bowl here, okay? I'm going to dump this right into this bowl, and I made sure my bowl was very clean before I did this. When I make these for my brother, he likes the whoopie pies like really full of the cream. My sister-in-law, she's good with the regular. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. Okay, now I'm going to start it. And we want to get nice firm um, peaks on it. And we're going to do it on high. So while this is mixing up, I'm going to grab my ice packs. Because after that came out, this is nice and hot. And the whipping helps cool it down, too. There. Oh, that's on high. Okay, friends, this is almost done. I was stressing. I actually thought I ran out of powdered sugar, but I found some. And I need it for this recipe. Okay, we want stiff, firm peaks. So, hang on. Farm peaks. So, now I'm going to make sure my bowl is cool enough. My cream. And it is, because I had these on there, so yours might take a little longer. Okay? So now, um... We want our confectioner's sugar. Really? <laughs> Got to open this. I tell you, these have a nice seal. These Tupperware containers? Yeesh. Um, Alexa, volume down. Okay. So we have two cups of confectioner's sugar all at once. Right into there and sift it in. And this tastes so good, my friends. I know it is sweet because I use one and a half cups of sugar and now I'm using two cups of this sugar. And then we have our butter. We have two cups of butter. You just don't want those lumps in there. So makes a huge difference with buttercream. 
Okay, now back on. What I usually do to save myself a lot of cleanup is I put a towel over my thing and get this out of your way just to get it going. Once that, once that starts mixing in, we're good. Okay? Because now, you want all that blended. So, I got that on medium. I have my four sticks of softened butter. We're going to add this in. Just keep dropping it. Let it mix a sec. Drop it. Just keep doing this. But I also have three quarters of a cup of Crisco shortening. So these two videos will probably both go up today, but they'll be separate. I'll make them separate. I'll probably be adding a little bit in each one of the other one. But then it will, won't be so long. Okay, that's in. I'm just going to keep adding the rest of my butter. That's all going. And the only thing we have left, once this is mixed, is our vanilla. We're going to use a tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. I'm going to put the sides down. Look at how nice that looks. And at the very end, we're going to switch to the paddle attachment, and that's when we add the vanilla. Okay. That is all blended. Sorry for the noise. Got to get all that goodness in there. Before I put this on, though, let me make sure I get all that bottom and the sides. Oh, it smells so good. And you can use any kind of extract, actually. I choose to use vanilla, but you can use any kind. If you want to make this a peppermint buttercream, add peppermint in here. But honestly, the vanilla is amazing. Okay. Now we're going to get that going with the paddle. And add our vanilla. Tablespoon of vanilla. And that is done. I will show you in just a second. We're looking good. Oh my god, that is good. <laughs> I haven't had it since January. I forgot how good it was. So it's a nice cool day today, too. So that helps because I'm just gonna leave this out 
Um, and just so you know, when you freeze this, you can just stick this in a, a darn it, a freezer container, you know, and make sure you have plastic wrap touching right to the top of it and then close it really good. And when you defrost it, defrost it in the fridge overnight. Um, but when you go to use it, you want to shove it back into your blender, just like if you just made it, and whip it up. Um, just whip it up really quick. Look at this. And it'll be perfect. Let me get rid of this and I'll show you. And it tastes just like if you just made it. Seriously. Look at this. How creamy that is. I might even, at the end, um, just melt up some chocolate, like the Wilton chocolate candies you can use, or a chocolate bar, and dump it in there and whip it back up again, and you got the chocolate. So, there you have it for my Swiss buttercream. I will post this recipe. Now I'm getting ready to make the um, whoopie pies. I'm going to cover this. Um, and set it off aside, just in a cool place, and make my whippy pies. And then, because I don't want to stick it in the fridge, because I don't want to have to whip it again. Although it's going to be a couple hours, so yeah, I'm going to stick it in the fridge. But I'm just going to stick it in there in this because I have another bowl to whip up my whippy pies. So I'll cover this, put it in the fridge, and then I'll just whip it again right before I cover my pie, uh, fill my pies. So there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Make it, it's super easy, as long as you don't mind doing that. And you can do that over a pan with a, a bowl, a pan of water. Just don't let the water touch the bottom of the bowl um, because you're not wanting to cook those eggs. <laughs> so remember that. So anyway, I will be back with my whoopie pie recipe in a couple hours. Um, or maybe they'll come up together. I don't know. Um, but like and subscribe. And I will be back. And I'll show you the finished product too.